And what group does this belong to? You told me they were not. Oh, uh, Alkaline earth metals. And then nitrogen, what's the charge for this when it blew? Negative three. Negative three. So, um, this is a positive two, this is negative three. They don't cancel out to equal zero. This is negative one, because a positive two and a negative three equal a negative one. So, I need to figure out, just do some math where you can draw them out. How many more of these do I need? How many more of these do I need in order for them to cancel out? So whether you do math or you just draw some out, I'll do the math first. So this is a positive two. I know that two and three go into six. Okay. So if I multiply, if I have three, this comes from the charge. I need three of these. So this equals a positive six. This is negative three, and in order for this to equal six, I have to multiply times only two of those. Negative three times two is negative six, and they cancel out. Or if you need to, you can just keep drawing them. So CA2 plus and three minus. You told us not to draw them. No, I said don't draw with like these dots. Right. Not with the valence electrons. But if you need to like do this to help I had to do my calculations. But not that way. You can do it this way too. So plus two, four, six, negative three, negative six, cancel out. We can. Um, some people also manage to say, you just switch the numbers. And that is actually something you can do. I'm going to teach, I'm going to dance for you. It's a little dance I created last Record it. Record it. So it's, hold on, I kind of forgot it. Oh. Crisscross applesauce, drop it like it's hot. <laughs> I get it. I get laughed at all the time, but it works. So, um, the way this works, the way this works is you crisscross, not the charges, the numbers only. So there's a three, there's a two. So the three crisscrosses down here, so CA3. The two crisscrosses here. And two. I needed for you to understand that ionic compounds are neutral, so that's what we did. Yes. So this is just another way. This is a shortcut way. However, you do need to understand how to do all the methods. So like if I say do the Lewis dot structures of ionic compounds, you need to use, like we did for the warm up, where you're drawing the valence electrons and you're showing that metals are losing their valence, valence electrons to non metals, non metals are gaining, making sure you're putting the charges and then you're writing the formula out. If I don't say that, then you can use a crisscross applesauce drop it like it's hot. That's how that works. Questions? Let's do another one. Let's do um, aluminum and sulfur. So figure out the charges of aluminum and sulfur, then write the chemical formula for it. And also name it. So we're gonna practice naming as well. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Aluminum and sulfur. We need a sulfur. Aluminum and sulfur. Aluminum and sulfur. Do me a favor, if there was anything about this video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or share the video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way you can bond with James. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.